set to drop the puck tonight. The Flyers kick things off by winning the opening faceoff, and here we go. From the right side, moves it up ahead. And he takes a shot. Scores! Perfectly positioned to bury the rebound. Here, and as a result, there is a goal scored against them, James. But it's all about wandering outside the middle of the ice. You know that you always have to protect the middle. You want to make sure that you're only giving up perimeter shots. But because of that lack of coverage, they expose the middle of the ice. Taken by Sandheim. The Bruins gain possession in their own end. Philadelphia's got a hold of the puck now. Penalty coming up here. Tough spot to be in. You need momentum, and you do it back by going on the PK when you're trailing by one. Guys, with the first penalty kill of the night here, there's not too much we should be concerned about. They know how to get things done. They can shut it down. This PK unit is ranked top 10 in the league, and let's just see what happens here. Pushes it across to Lindholm. Boston's got the puck against the half wall. Here's an offensive chance. Oh, he just got thunderstruck. Well, he did. I mean, closing so quickly. No time and space there. And just it's in the back of the net for an own goal. James, I'm so impressed with the aggressive nature of this PK unit. I mean, you're down by a goal, you want to press, you attack appropriately, and then you get a shorty. That's a great job by the PK. Loco side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. possession of the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Got a lot of offensive zone possession time, and you gotta figure he knows he's one goal away from his next milestone. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the faceoff. Philadelphia's got the win off that draw. Takes the feed from the left side. Look at this, two on one. Nice feed from the right wing. Drives to the page. Scores! Off the post and in. Well, that's a real sneaky one that pulled the goaltender, James. I had not much room available, but that one, perfectly executed. They're striking quickly. Two goals in 50 seconds, James. Anybody who just got up for a quick snack is probably looking at the scoreboard goal. What happened? Well, don't blink. The game can change in an instant. Absolutely. The Bruins take the one goal lead here in the first. Uh, and if I'm the coach, I'm telling them to keep going, be aggressive, stay on the puck, especially after you score a goal head goal. You got them back on their heels, you got to attack. Some good stick work to force that turnover. Drives it to the crease! Scores! Well, the flop hitter's gonna wanna have that one back. He put it in himself. Well, the position is tough enough, and, and then you have these goals that wind up in the back of the net. He deposited it himself, and that's a real tough one to handle. This next shift, this next save, it's huge. Lots of time left in this period. Boston's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Philadelphia's coaches will not be liking that power play opportunity as they fail to convert and give up a shorthanded one. The expectation when you're on a power play is to score a goal, not give up one, James. This is a tough one to take for this group. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Here's a backhander, denies him in front. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Turn that chance aside. The Bruins have it now. Make a change, make a change. Cut into the front of the net. Oh, sensational stop with the stick by Hart.
Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Boston's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part this. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Back at the point, they set it up. Lindholm's taking a nasty whack, and that's gonna draw a penalty. Let's get the call here. Atkinson's hack, not a popular one in the eyes of the officials here. The Bruins will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. First opportunity on the power play in this game. And specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game. Well, you can't do that or you're going to find your way marching over to the box. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Well, it's going to be a two-minute minor for boarding here, James, and I think it's a good call. It's a dangerous play. It's over-aggressive, and it needed to be called. A little more room out there with a little four-on-four. Four-on-four, you want to utilize north, south, east, west, and capitalize on the speed with the extra ice available. You can bet your coaching staff is going to put some pretty quick players out there. Lindholm's got it against the boards. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Stars coming up, one short-handed, wow! Well, you gotta love the aggressive nature of this PK unit. They jumped, they attacked, and when they got the puck, they found a way to cash in and convert on the opportunity. And that's what you call taking advantage of a fortuitous rebound, and you have to be able to smell it and sniff it out because he has great hand-eye coordination to be able to pick that one up and put it in the back of the net. The Bruins have been all over them, and there's still plenty of time left in this first. And off the face-off, they take possession. The Flyers certainly didn't get the result they wanted on that power play, giving up a shorthanded marker. He was locked in there. I didn't like anything about that power play, James, and I'll tell you who else didn't. The coach and the rest of the team. You can't give up a shorty when you got a man advantage. Couturier's going to play it against the half wall. Quick pass over to Carlo. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Poked away at center by Carlo. A chance in front! Through center along the wing. Take it along the wall by Geeky. Moves it quickly over to Van Riemsdyk. Center into the middle! He scores! What a play! That's what you call having a nap for the net, James. When you get in tight and you're sniffing around, you better get that puck off quickly because you know there's defenders all around.
York's body language says it all. He is frustrated, and anytime you're on a team, you want to contribute, especially when you know what you can do. You're a confident player, but all of a sudden, the stick gets a little bit tighter. Habits are a great thing. Numbers are another. Take it to go, and that one's turned away. Here's a short pass to Lauco, and it's a quick pass to Heinen. Here they come on the attack. From point blank, shuts it down with the power and a stop. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. The Bruins take possession here in the open ice. And now it's grabbed by Atkinson. There's the end of period number one. Both teams grab a quick breather. You can grab a hot dog and we'll be back with second period action in moments. in the books. Let's see what this second period offers. Well, let's see if there was any message sent in the dressing room here before the start of the second because it was one-sided to say the least in the first. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? The Bruins have a comfortable lead heading into the second period here, James. But they can't get complacent. They need to continue to do exactly what they were doing. Be Unable to reach that one. 
into the offensive zone down the right wing. The Bruins gain possession. Boston's got control of it now from their own end. And he passes it up ahead to Lauko. Along the half wall with the puck. Shot. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Elliott. What an incredible save in the high danger scoring area. I mean, right in the slot, he's in perfect position to make that club save. Solid hit on the play. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Fires it on net. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Loco's been so dangerous tonight. He's got two in the game. You know he's looking for the hat. Way too much congestion blocks that. And the officials waving off icing here. Gets the scores! Bad Marchand! He gets his shot off the most coveted area on the ice, right in front of the paint. Doesn't allow the goalie to get set up and puts it home. and the official caught that. We got a penalty coming up. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Marchand's stick work will land him two minutes for slashing. Philadelphia's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. An opportunity on the power play to right the wrong, giving up that shorty earlier. A real trendsetter here, the ability to get back on your toes and put one by. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Here's a chance! Turned aside with the glove by Elliott. Lund's ready for the 
draw as we get set to resume this power play. Boston's got it in the offensive zone. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Kiki's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. And off the draw, they win possession. Gets it over to Case. Here's a short pass to York. Takes the feed. Dives down low to block it. Boston's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. The Bruins will play it in their own end. Flip feed. Boston's got the puck along the boards. And they'll go on the attack. Great pressure by Farabee. Came up with the save on that play. Change him with possession Change along the wall. Marshawn's penalty is almost expired. And yeah, that was a good heads up read to make that save. Feeds the puck to Lawton. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Cates. Feeds the puck to Pasternak. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Stones on front. Tries to feed it over to McAvoy. Centering feed. Dishes it off again here. And that's intercepted. Philadelphia's in now. Boston's got a hold of the puck. Slides it diagonally to DeBrusque. On the attack along the boards. The Flyers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Philadelphia's got it in their own zone. Oh, look at this chance. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. Now a quick pass to York. possession along the boards. Here's the chance on the attack. And he scores! We create offense by moving the puck, and that's exactly what he does here. He knows how to manipulate his opponent to open up the lane, but it's all about the pass. It's got to be on the money if you want to do something with it. Boston's performance tonight still showing no signs of let up here in this third period. Well, they've had such a impressive performance, James. It's been dominant in all areas of the ice, and there's been no lag or no let up. The message has been clear by the coaching staff as well as everyone on the bench. Keep pushing. Walker stuck to the side. There's a blast. Can't get it to go. Picked up along the wall by Coyle. Moves it to Atkinson. And that's poked away by McAvoy. Oh, it was right there on a platter, and the stick breaks. Well, it was there for the taking. The setup was... Wait a second, James. I believe there's going to be a call right there. An infraction happens. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Natural tendency for players is to reach when they've lost position on their opponent. When you reach, often you take out the feet of your opponent. This is an easy tripping call. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. The Bruins will kill off a few extra seconds now. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Quick feed to Frost. Philadelphia's got the puck. Works it across to Konechny. And that's broken up in the defense and sold by Pasternak. Boston's on the attack. The Bruins play to lend the win. Sends it in front. Couldn't complete the pass. Quick pass to Sandheim. Tape to tape pass to center. Here he is on a breakaway. Oh, and it comes up with a big stop there. Boston's got it in their own zone. Marchand's got it along the wing. And time expires on the power play. Both teams back to even. Coach is certainly happy tonight, James. It doesn't get better than perfect. Everyone's working hard to have the intangible, but they also have the skill set to be able to read, have the vision, and get the puck down the ice. Boston's up big time here in the late stages of this third period. Heinen's 
won the face off, and now let's see what they can do. Hey, to the middle! Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Puts the puck away. Boston's got a hold of the puck now. Feeds the puck over to Heinen. Here's a pass in front! And carries off a twig in front of the net. Nice stick work to the puck loose. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And turns it aside with ease. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Florida's up next, and no love lost between these two sides. A few tickets still available, I'm told, so you better get them before they're gone. The Bruins win the draw. Moves the puck. Loses his balance on the play. Scooped up along the wall by Mete. Moves it quickly over to DeLaurier. Philadelphia's got the puck along the wall. 